Peace. Grand Rising. Good afternoon. I hope everybody, all the God's chosen vessels out there are enjoying themselves, staying up, not letting anything get them down, and keeping a big, huge smile on your face because it looks better than a frown. All my chosen vessels, hit that like button. All my divine ones, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. All my chosen, man, all my chosen ones already hit that like button. <clears throat> All my light beings, all my star seeds, all my infinite beings. Shout out to the infinite beings. Hit that like button and welcome to all the new viewers. Feel welcome. This is your new home. This is your new channel. God's Chosen Vessels, where we came to bring you more never lesser. Hit that like button and that subscribe button. You're in for a treat. Here at this channel, we uh, speak positive. We uplift each other, we motivate each other, and we want to see the best out of one another because we know that God put us here to not have the spirit of fear. So we are going to live our best life each and every single day because that's what that's what we were put here to do. That's our birthright. Just like just like you could breathe in that air, you're supposed to not have to worry about anything that you need. You don't ever have to worry about when your next breath is coming. So add that to the equation of I have God in my life and I don't have to worry about when my next check is coming. All right. Today's message, Vessels, is jealousy, envy, and hatred are all qualities of being a loser. Let them go so you can become a winner. This video is more or less for anybody that needs to work on something, chosen vessels who are dealing with a little something, but more or less this video is for the people who may not be aware that they're chosen. This video may be for the person who is chosen but just may be filled with a lot of negativity. This may be for the video for the person who's chosen but they're unaware. She just don't know. She gotta let some things go. He got to let some things go. So this, this video is for all the chosen people out there who got to let some things go so you can grow. Jealousy, envy, and hatred are all qualities of being a loser. You're going to want to and going to have to let them go so that you can grow. If you're a chosen one, if you feel some type of special about you, but you may be not the best person, not judging, you may know deep down inside that you know that's not the life for you. You know you're aware that you are not living in your true life's purpose and you know that you could be doing better Then this video is for you. Because jealousy, envy, and hatred are all qualities of being a loser. And if this video caught you today, I'm here to tell you, guess what? This is your last day on earth of being a loser. This is your last day on earth of not dealing with your jealousy or your hatred. You're about to become as light as a feather. Welcome to the Chosen One family. Welcome to the GCV gang for Christ. You're here and you should have no fear. Let go of that old man. Let go of that old woman. Let go of that old spirit. Let go of that jealous spirit. Let go of that envious spirit. Ain't nobody out there with nothing that you can't have. They may look a certain way. Hair may curl a certain way. May be straighter. May be longer. They still don't have nothing that you don't have. It's what's on the inside that counts. Your inside can match their outside. Whatever you have, you can make it work to its finest and most best degree. Don't worry about what this may be. Don't worry about what that may be. Improve it. Work on it. Make it better. And if it's something that is just the way it is, you can make it. If you can't change it, you can make it so it could be the best that it could be the way it is. Oh, yeah. You can, imp you can make an improvement on that. And whatever, whatever that you dislike, even if you can't change it, I guarantee you there's a way you can make it better. 
I guarantee there's a way that you could make yourself better so that you feel better, so that you look better, so that you can maintain your, your happiness and get more good out of life. Okay? All right, y'all. And that's why you want to let go of that envy. This is why you want to let go of that jealousy. This is why you want to let go of that hatred. Because those are loser qualities. And I'm here to let you know that today is your last day of losing because this is your winning season. This is your winning season. No more losing for you. You're, excuse me, y'all. You're done losing. Those losing days are behind you. Those days of being a hater are behind you. Those days of being jealous and envious are behind you. You are a new man. You are a new woman. Hear the sound of my voice when I tell you. Put in the comment section and say, I'm a new man. Put in the comment section and say, I'm a new woman. I have a new spirit on me. God is good. All we have to do is make corrections. There's nothing that has to stay in a negative way. You can let go of that hurt. You can let go of that hatred. So you can be a real person. So you can be the real divine you. You can be the real chosen vessel in you. Don't you want to be real? I know I'm real and I'm authentic and I'm genuine. And it feels great each and every day. And I'm here to tell you that you could be just like me. I don't have anything that you don't have. God didn't give me anything that you don't have. I'm just aware that I could be real. I'm aware of my authenticity. I'm aware of these things. I'm aware of the winner in me. I'm aware of the person who has love for other people. I love to see other people make it. I love to see other people doing good. I love to support a winner. I even want to support a loser if he's willing to become a winner, he or she. But it's all about that self-improvement. Nobody's going to want to help you if you want to stay the same. Change is uncomfortable. I get it. Change is one of the most uncomfortable things we have to go through. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you see it, if you can feel it, if you can envision it for yourself, you can make that a reality. And you can live in that reality and walk in the breath of it and in the land of it. Whenever the Bible refers to land, tilling the land, you must till the land. It's talking about your mind, folks. You have to keep working on your mind and working on your mind and working on your mind and working on your mind. Your brain is the largest muscle that you will have. It's one of the greatest muscles, the best one, because it controls your reality. And I know you don't want to be a loser. I know you don't want to be a hater. I know you don't want to have an envious spirit. You want to let those things go so you can grow and so that all new blessings and miracles can flow. All right? You want to be the best you that you can be. And that's why you don't want to have a heart full of jealousy, envy, or hatred because those qualities will make you a loser. And I'm here today to tell you that you are a winner. God has, through the spirit and through the voice of me and through the power of God coming through this video, God has taken off the spirit of, of being a loser off of you. God said through me after today, you will never be a loser again. Through his almighty power and through the love of Jesus Christ, you'll never be a loser. How can you lose if you have God and Jesus? All right. God's chosen vessels, light beings, star seeds. Thank you for watching this video to the very end of the video. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button and hit that share button because this was a powerful video. Share this video, I'm not taking no shots at nobody, but share this video to somebody who you know could use some self-improvement and that would appreciate a positive insight on a way that they could live a more powerful, more impactful life. GCV, baby. Stay blessed, y'all.